you know, they, they hold us captive. Ransom, almost. Ransom, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Ransom. Hold us for ransom. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Sammy, you set, buddy? You all good? Are all right. set? Yep, we're ready. Here we go. <gasps> Live from Houston, Texas, in the sunny south, where it's warming up nicely, is Ginger Cook Learn How to Paint Tuesday with your main bear at the helm. <laughs> and Sammy, you know, you're going to have to tell us about this uh, elf hat there, buddy. Uh, don't really know what you're up to. It's making us a little nervous, Ginger. Hey, hey, John. Do you have any control Sammy. over that bear? Welcome, everybody. Uh, let's all cross our fingers and make hope we get a good live uh, show tonight. Uh, last as night, opposed to a bad live as show. As opposed to, you know, not just a bad show, but a bad feed. You know, we can, we can always hope, right? And that what I'm saying is, is that last night, you know, apparently there was a lot going on in Texas or whatever. For whatever reason, we weren't getting up. So we had a conference this morning, John and I. And John Little is the voice you heard that welcomed you in. He's the... Uh, founder, co-founder with me of GingerCookLive.Gallery. He's our technical wizard and executive producer and too. Executive but, producer. I want all these titles. I want every he's, title he's, I can get. He wants all the titles, <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, and an emerald member, an emerald member with uh, uh, Royal, Royal Caribbean, Caribbean too. You know? Working so on diamonds. He's got some titles besides just being computer <laughs> wizard, which I think Grand High Wizard of Computers is a good title. But you know, some people just need more, right? Yes, we do. And, oh, you magnificence, Grand High Wizard. Yes. Oh, well, please, I love it. You like that? So. Yeah. I've been reading a lot of science fiction lately. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of. So uh. anyway, we uh, it occurred to us that perhaps, even though when they we bought the studio internet stuff, they said this was the best that was to offer. It was suggested that perhaps we might call again and see if that was indeed true. And after several phone calls that were routed, apparently around the world, we got <laughs> someone who was not real clear uh, on what we wanted. And my. after 45 minutes of, oh, well, I, there is another better thing you can have. Well, what would that be? And then, oh, did you want to know about that? Oh, sure. Just tell us. Why don't you? <laughs> Spit it out, you know? You know, when we first ordered, give me the fastest, the best you can. Because I knew we were going to do upload. They go, okay, here's, here's what you got. I go, great. Well, John, we're talking about Comcast here, so let's just blast them. Yeah. So anyway, uh, then, so for another $20 a month, apparently there is a faster, better thing. So we said, fine, we'll take it. And they said, give us two hours. So two hours went by, three hours went by. We got Four hours went by and so then been changed. Nothing. So then John's been on the phone again with them right before. And that's one reason we're late. This is a justifiable lateness. Well, this is why we're late <laughs> because he, they said, well, we'll do something. And then finally we said, well, nothing's happened yet, you know. And, uh, of course, they always say a watch pot never boils. You've ever heard that expression. Well, nothing was boiling up here. So, anyway, the <laughs> upshot is, is that at some point, uh, we believe with enough phone calls, we'll have a higher speed Internet even well, than we have now. We're going for it. We supposedly had the best. That's what we're trying for. And in the meantime, we're keeping this, the broadcast as simple as, as, as little things as we're going to do. We're not doing my picture in a picture anymore. When we, You're going to see me, and he'll focus back and forth to me. But you're not going to see me in up in the little corner. We're going to show you the picture that we're painting tonight. I know you've all been waiting for this. Is this not cool or not? Or what? And this is, is this the not cool or not? <laughs> <laughs> you're already off and running. This is not cool or not. It reminds me of how awful of a painter I am. You are just awful. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's been a long I day. work, what, two all hours right. on this painting. This is just awful. I just, yeah. my heart just sank. I go, oh. Yeah. So you wonder why you don't see me anymore. Well, I'm still devastated. You're, you're never going to let that go, are you? No, Man, never. this is a guy that has a grudge. Anyway. No, not a grudge. I, I, I was, have a good memory. I was memory. looking through some old dead artists' artwork because I always like to see what they've done in the past. <laughs> this particular, this, is, this artist is a, was an American guy. He lived in Kentucky. And, you know, you don't, I mean, everybody heard of, and at the same time that, uh, you know, Monet and those guys were running around, he was running around in Kentucky painting these nifty flowers, Okay. And I thought this was really pretty, so therefore I, uh, you know, came up with this, which I think is pretty good. Don't you guys think so? And we're going to paint that tonight. That's what we're going to paint tonight. And he called it... Um, L'Oreal. L'Oreal. But I think these look like, these look like just like the uh, rhododendrons that we had growing up in Seattle. So whatever they are, it's obviously Kentucky with those mountains. So that's what we're going to paint on an 8x10 canvas. I've been putting out the paint. We're going to... 
if uh, John would, um, incidentally, before we go any further. Yeah, before we go any further. Further, thank you very much for hanging in there with us last night. You yeah, guys you really guys were troopers. It. Thank you so much. And we did go ahead and put up this lesson. We, I stayed after school, right, after live, <laughs> and we went ahead and refilmed it like Groundhog Day, filmed it again. The lesson is now, for those of you who didn't know, this is now up on YouTube, ready to watch. Uh, no commercials, nothing, just the straight lesson, just so yeah, you know no, how to do it. No me. No me. And this is actually, no, I you. meant to tell you this, and I did in the video, this is actually based off of Renoir, okay? Mr. So Renoir. Just, I'm going to just show you real quick. Here's the Ren, here's the Renoir. And we, I, you know, left the guy out. I guess that's old Renoir there. <laughs> but whatever, I left him out and just put in. The, I like that. that I just put right in the uh, and, and kind of simplified it a bit. But I really like the picture. So that's uh, again, I'm really fond of these old dead guys. I think they just do, did such great work, you know. And it, uh, it, I Ryan, thought this was why one of my reinvent favorites. the wheel, right? That's yeah. So said. I mean, you know, reinvent the wheel. This is kind of and we learned a lot about how to do these see-through curtains. Okay. So that being said, we're gonna put. Uh, be sure to if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now. And hit the I will wait. And then just go ahead and hit button. that little, but, that little <laughs> bell underneath. And then, you're, then when we go live, because we've come to the conclusion that 730 is a good, is, is good for us because it's like 830 back east and 630 on, no, 530 on the west coast. It's really kind of sucks for the people in Europe. Uh, it's not a good time. But we're thinking then. of moving so at a half hour. We're half an hour back. If, um, seven, we eight, move seven, at, seven. We'll go back to um, seven. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. is what we're thinking of changing our time. So, you know, so 7 p.m. on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. That's what we're thinking. Changing the time would be a good thing to do. So anyway, that's our thought. And If you um, have any thoughts you, on you that, you make a comment. That, we'd we'll love let you to know. hear them. Yeah. You know, that's our thought. But my, and we might catch the stream better. I know we're just it's like trying to fly a kite. You know, how to <laughs> catch the stream, right? Trying to catch the going, wind. What is this woman talking about? She's, she's talking through her ears here. She knows nothing. But anyway, this is our thought, you know. So you know, if I where thought, are you looking tonight? I are you looking at the monitor? You're looking at the monitor, aren't you? Yeah, I lied. I'm looking at the monitor <laughs> <laughs> over here, going. Hi. <laughs> Can you focus a little bit? You know where the camera is. Wave to the camera. There you go. I but, see you. I'm focused can, on can you. you. Can you be there? Uh, it looks like you're talking to the bear all night. <laughs> Well, then he'd have good company, wouldn't he? <laughs> yes, he would. He'd so have marvelous I, company. You're, and your point is what? No, uh, no point. No, no point. point. No there's, point. There's no point, right? Okay, so John, would be so kind as to focus the camera down here on focus the table? Focus the camera. I'll drop you know, it down. Okay, switch cameras, put down on the table. Is this exciting? And incidentally, this artist was named Charles Curran, by the way. This uh, artist, this American artist from Kentucky, the late 1800s, painted this. And you can see these hills so what we've got is an 8x10 canvas that we have sanded now i have put the picture up there for got them. a drum beat oh to i it. hear I it can, yeah you can hear the drum i can do it a little more i still see a little wrinkle in that so i'm just missing the back okay and uh, in fact one of my students wrote me the other day oh. at gingercooklive.gallery you know and kind of have instant have an instant artist on have an artist on call you know and uh, she said oh, you know i'm doing this painting a big painting and there's one of these when you get big um, big canvases, sometimes they'll put like a board across the back here, like that, okay? And, uh, and what was happening, and she, every time she painted it, was leaving a mark. Sometimes you'll see that too, you'll paint it, you'll see a mark up around where the, where the stretcher bars are. And if you spray the back of your canvas and tighten it up, that will go away. Interesting. All right, so let's try to drum better. Okay, so I'm mo moving this out of the way. The colors we've got are our old favorites. Um, we're not going to put the mixing white out quite yet. We're going to go uh, yellow oxide, cad yellow medium, which I have somewhere. Mm, is that it? Yeah. Cad yellow medium, dosine purple, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, burnt umber, cad red medium, magenta, and, and th those are, you know, our old favorites. Those are the ones we use all the time. You know, it's not, people always say it's so expensive to paint with acrylics, but you know, if you just have a few colors, you're not buying everything in the art store. Mm -hmm. Not that it's not fun to do that. But, you know, just use these colors. You do pretty well. Okay, so what we need is some sort of fast underpainting on it. And I'm going to take You do want to mention the contest that you alluded to last night. A couple of people said, uh, hey. Yeah, what about the contest? All right, we've got this contest going. And you can. This sounds like something that they do on TV when they're selling Vegematics or something. Yes. Like the Vegematic thing, right? Like, you, you can win you this. You can win. 
this painting here, Ooh. which is Honduras, original painting by Ginger Cook, originally designed, photograph original by John. So it's kind of a collaboration between the photograph and the painting. And you can win this. And how you can win this is by um, getting our June newsletter, which we are sending out tomorrow, first thing. And you have till the 11th of, wasn't it? Till the 11th of, of, of June, of June, right? Yeah. The 11th midnight. of June, uh, you know, midnight, 11th of June to uh, fulfill the terms of the contest, uh, which is free to enter. You just have to get a newsletter. How do you get a newsletter? Well, you can go to gingercooklive.gallery and I'll have an iCard there if you're watching this a little bit later. Look at the iCard right this second. And um, Oh, now I have to remember where you put that iCard, right? How far into the show are we? I don't know, like five minutes or something. No, you you're know. 10. So you're already Maybe 10. 10. So you don't... <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, you're gonna wear an iCard. Anyway, go to gingercooklive.gallery, um, sign up, and then you know if you haven't got the newsletter, ask us for the newsletter. We're also going to post it on Pinterest, and we'll have a copy of it on our website. And we'd also like to, you know, if we have your email, so so that you get one. Um, so you know, and then you when you read the newsletter, the rules of the contest, the secret rules of the contest are in the newsletter. Ooh. Ooh. It's a secret contest. Really cool. How do I sign up for the con how do I sign up for the newsletter? Did well, you, you say? go to gingercooklive.gallery. I do. Scroll yeah. down to the bottom. And scroll down to the bottom where it says newsletter. Ch -ch 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 -scroll or if you'd like to join our form, which we're working on, if you'd sign up there under the join us, you'll also be into the automatically entered into the newsletter. newsletter. Now if you're already a member of gingercooklive.gallery or have been you know, even a seven day member, if you're already one of those, we have your email address and you're probably signed up, right? Yes. But if you're not. If you've written us, you're in there. Yeah, then you know, so if you're not, then you, you, you might you're be miss out. to do if you, if you want to win the painting, you know? And, now, and if you do get our newsletter or, or if you don't want our newsletter and you think you're subscribed, please unsubscribe because yeah. we have to pay for you guys. Yeah, it costs us money to send out these, you know, and we're not really They're not good at silly. it. They're not silly. You're going to say silly. We're not great at this. I'm going to make this color while we're talking. I'm taking what color are you making? Blue, and, um, and we're telling you this so that we, okay. you know, we can, you know, kind of do two things at once. Multiple. Here's some ultramarine blue and white, okay? And uh, I'm just going to You seem to be off. Like Am this. I off center tonight or are you off center? Who's off what? You seem to be over to your left more than normal. What? This looks fine to me. I don't know. That's fine. Up. No, that's fine. All right, so now I'm going to just take that color, and we're just going to go, um, we're going to cover the canvas in this blue color. This is just ultramarine blue and white, and that was uh, ultramarine blue, you know, red shade, if you were wondering. You can sign up for the newsletter now. Don't do it tomorrow because it's going, oh, going it's going out, to go it's going out, out. It's going Thursday, Thursday morning. No, Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Isn't it Thursday? It's going on the 1st. The 1st. That's Thursday. Yeah. It's going out on the 1st. And I'll try to put a copy of it on uh, Facebook too. And here's the thing: once you get in on the secret of the of the contest, you know, don't blab it. You know, you can tell. You know, the I'm happy to have. Uh, you know, I want you guys. Don't to you have guys a good want to be the winner? You don't want anybody you, else to know the answer. You know, don't blab your answers. You know, blank because it's you know it's a, you know don't blab your answers. That'll kind of give you a hint. Don't blab your answers because um, you're giving it away. You're giving it away, and you you know if if. Uh, we're, we're, we're basically what we want people to do is read our newsletter, you know. We and, put a lot of time into these silly we things. We put a lot, and it's, 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 and that's why know, they're so far and few between. We hardly do it, you know. It's not like we're selling, selling your email address to anybody. I mean, we can barely get a newsletter up quarterly. So, but we do have interesting things. Like for instance, in our newsletter this this month, we have a one of the things that's always bugged me about, um, oh, you know, my personal art coaching is I never know enough about the person I'm coaching, and. Um, I mean, don't need to know if they have aunts and uncles, that kind of stuff, but I kind of want to know how long they've been painting, what their goals are, um, what, you know, more than just what kind of paint are you using. Because even if you tell me the whole spiel at the beginning of that you become a member, a year later, we had a lot of people, it's hard to remember, was, that, was Sue the one that um, said that she, um, she only wanted to paint frogs, and if I ever had another frog painting teller, or, or was this a lady that wanted to become a professional artist, wanted to be able to sell her paints, paintings and stuff. And also, is this a, this is a, a you know twelve year old kid that's just been learning to paint for school as opposed to say an adult, and um, there's all kinds of reasons why uh, you're painting. And the more we know about you, the better my answers can be. And that's we've true. got a new ticket system. Instead of sometimes for people to get the, their painting from their canvas to their phone or whatever to me seems to be technically challenged and people have trouble doing it not most people but there's some and we are accommodating you we get it so we've got a new way where you can 
Ticket us. Ticket us. We'll have you. You go to the ticket section when you're a member, and you will uh, just take a ticket, uh, upload to the ticket, the picture and the question, and then I am notified there's a ticket. I respond, upload to the ticket. There's no internet involved with emails. Ooh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. I mean, there's internet, but there's no emails. <laughs> <laughs> no internet. Well, the way the day's been going, yeah, there's no internet. <laughs> well, there's no emails. No so email. So you don't have to worry about that. Because we're having a lot of problems with people getting our emails and us getting their emails and, and things going, going and on. And I spend hours sometimes. I'll spend a full hour sometimes on one person's comment because I'm... Because I'm, it's well, perfect. Because it, but it really matters to you, so it matters. If I think it matters to you, man, it matters to me, okay? Yep, absolutely. And I, sometimes I'll, you know, admit, create a whole new picture. For you and, and you know on the on the on the computer and then send it in with it you know some hand rod or something and then if it goes in your spam folder that's very disheartening and well I never heard back from you <laughs> you're terrible no no really I'm not and if you didn't if, with the ticket I will always know and John will know who has not like Santa Claus who has not answered and who's on the list that kind of stuff we'll always know which is a good thing and then the other good thing is is that when we're um, we put a little tiny water on the brush while we're talking about this. Uh, then when we're um, just finish the might as well finish the sides here a little bit of water on the tip oh did you see that uh, little tip somebody gave us for holding the canvas I did and I, I wasn't sure about it I figured that you would somebody showed us a oh, nifty it's a tip cool on thingy. how to and we're going to show you that as soon as we go get the stuff yeah we have a cool tip on how to hold canvas and to do the stupid side stuff <laughs> um, well I mean you know we're just doing it now because I wanted to finish the thought here about the now, getting back to the newsletter, what she's doing those sides. If you have, if you are a current member or have been a member of our GingerCookLive.gallery website, you are already in the newsletter feed. If you've written to us, you are in there. If you've never talked to us and never visit our website, you will not be there. You will not have a chance to win that magnificent painting pain. anywhere pain. in the world. We're sending it okay? anywhere we're, in the world. We're sending and it. And again, so. not Mars. Yeah, Mont Mars. It said this world, you know, the Martians are just out of luck. Okay, so while John's telling you a little bit more about that, if you, those of you who came in late, this is what we're painting. And they this can see it. Painting it's already up there. I have the still up there. Oh, they gosh. can see a picture in a picture. All right, well, that's what we're I've painting. I've got no comments on it. But look how good it, the blue matches. Do you see that? With the, That's ultramarine blue and white. All right, I'm going to dry hey, this. What we're going to do is um, we had a roll of a number five last night. We're going to finish that question while you're gone. Oh yeah, that was the yeah, that was the dice thing up here. That's so the I, dice thing. Die thing. The die thing. Put it down as a five. Is it a five? It's a four. Make it a five. I'd have to find five. Okay. Okay, you rolled a five again. Okay, why don't you go ahead and dry that and. <laughs> I'm drying. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, let's see if I can get this question to you. Da 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 da. Now, anybody have any other questions? Um, you didn't paint the top, Ginger. I don't care. Make it the bottom. <laughs> She's going to make that the bottom. Okay. I'm going to give you guys a real easy one to start off with. I mean, this is going to be a... It's a gimme. What color has a shade called ebony? Again, what color has a shade called ebony boom 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 so in regards to the ticket system we're going to sh shift that over on june, june 1st when you go to the if you're a member and you have to be a monthly member and or a yearly member to what have the, the ticket system oh i'm sorry you have to just guess well, well you have to tell me what the question is what color has a shade called ebony okay uh, that's such a dumb question that well let's see kenson says black Catherine says black marty says black tammy says black Catherine says black candy says black mary see? says black because we're not five Norman everybody says brown. knows that um purple says chrissy janice says black donna says black uh miss can, angie's black can ginger stay in here Lynn says, what? Ginger's going to say Yeah, you black. can go ahead. Yeah. Okay. If John's saying doesn't know which end is up. Now, you got to make sure you're, yeah, I don't know which end's up. Make sure you put the uh, white down, so. All right. Um, by the way, I'm going to just measure some stuff while you're, you know. So the answer you is, measure? drum roll, please. Black. Well, it's a simple question. 
I told him I was going to give him a simple one to warm things up. All right, warming things up. What was that one we found for Memorial Day? We were talking oh, about Memorial yeah. Day. Oh, what? yeah. What year did Memorial... No. no, that wasn't the question. No, that wasn't, that wasn't the question. What was the question? We had a good question. Yeah, what, was, uh, what is the name of... You know, when did this holiday end? When did, no. when did we... Oh, when no. did we begin? When did it... When, be did it fir when was it first celebrated? And what was it called? What was it called? What was it? What did it? What did Memorial Day used to be called before Memorial Day? And, and when? In what and, year? And, and, yeah, that was interesting. We saw that yesterday. Thought it was kind of fun. All right. While you guys are thinking about that, let's just that. Let's do some quick uh, math here. Okay. So we're going to come up here about um, an inch on the top up here like this. Put a little mark. Come down here about. Um, what are you putting in the mountains? Uh, putting it in the mountains. Okay. We're going to put. Come down here about uh, two and. Two and a half, two and a half inches, like about like the two and a quarter inches, maybe, like that. And we're just going to make a little hill coming down here, like that, kind of a rolling hill, like this. Now we're going to come up. Um, uh, let's see, five inches here on the side here, about five inches, and put a mark here on the left. And we want to come down about um, what is this? Three and three quarters inches over here. This is an eight by ten canvas. Put a mark, okay. Decoration now, wanna, day, not, decoration want a hill day. here like that, okay, like that. They're getting okay. a. Uh, Another hill, okay. Now here's what we want to do here. We want to take a hill, like this, about about here, and cross one over, like that. We're going to cross a hill over here like this. Robin, of. that's why we have Google. Oh, somebody Googled it, huh? Well, yeah, they had to Google it. All right, so that's basically you've got hill number. This is the sky. Then you've got hill number one, number two, and then this is number three. And then eventually this will be something else down in here with the grass. With the that's, green. that's pretty simple, right? Everybody's, and you know, you, you could, you, we could maybe have this hill come up here like this. So it's not all the same. We don't want them to look all the same. They're not really, they're kind of rounded like that. There you go. And then this is sort of, this one is coming up a little bit higher here, I think. I'm going to make that slope a little bit like that. All right. So then back to the drawing board here. So what we want to do is take a. Uh, Looks like everybody's take got a little that. bright brush. This is a um, number eight Bristolon silver brush. I got to say that my daughter Cinnamon discovered these. That they're, I'm a big fan of the ruby satin silver brushes, and I like those. But these Bristolons have a, even a, a they have a, even a tighter edge than these ones do, and so I was just trying those out. And so we're going to take a little bit of white paint, and a tiny bit of um, yellow oxide like less than 1%, a little tiny bit of yellow, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more yellow oxide. And I'm going to add just so I can. Here's some raw umber. If you haven't ever tried that color, it's not burnt umber, it's raw. It's a transparent color. And put just a drop of that in. kind of grays everything a little bit. All right, so then I want to come up here like this, just with the white paint over the sky, like that. And I'm going to say, and some of the blue shows through, that's okay. Make sure the blue is very dry, though, because otherwise you're going to have a green. What are you going to have? You're going to have a very, very green canvas because yellow and blue make green. So this is sort of a, kind of an off, almost an antique white sky. And you see a little bit of this blue kind of peeking through. And that's pretty. Okay. Now this is interesting because he was painting at the same time as the Impressionist. I don't know. I didn't take a lot of time to read his bio to see if he ever got over to meet any of them. This was a very popular painting style and he, I really like his p picture. I thought this was really pretty. And it is sort of Americana too, you know, sort of a, we, I think that's, that's a good series, John. We should do an Americana series. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that. Like Americana series yeah. maybe of just American, American looking, you know, yeah, we've American got artists. the barn and stuff. I think we should do some Americana series. Do you guys know why barns were red, painted, always painted red? So they could see them in the snow? Um, no. Well, I bet it's true, though. I bet you could see them in the snow if they were painted red, but yeah, that's not why. Okay. Um, the reason they were painted w red was because the, when the railroad came, was put through the Old West, you know, from New York to California, um, they, the railroad cars were painted that red color, that rust red color. It was the cheapest paint farmers could buy. Interesting, right? All right, that now we take the same color that we just mixed here with a little bit of the yellow and the brown and come up here and add a little tiny bit of blue to it, the ultramarine blue to it, and a little bit more white. Okay, and I've got this light blue color. Do you see that? So this light blue color. Now I'm going to come here like that, and I'm going to say that this is my mountain back like this coming down. 
Here's our next little layer of stuff. Uh, Lori made a good point. What? Tractors are Americana. Well, the well, Thank I guess you. they are too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. So you don't think they have tractors in Europe that those people just do it hey. out there plowing by hand? Like, we still want our tractor in barns. Hello. <laughs> I have supporters asking, out there. You know, I mean, we got no. some European <laughs> friends watching, and they're going to go, wait a minute, wait a minute, we've had tractors. Oh, no, they don't. You know, we've had tractors. Okay, so there's this back hill. Now we're going to do a little bit more ultramarine blue. Wow, I should, should really got to quit putting my hand in the paint. Now i got a blue <laughs> finger. All right, so stop. Uh, what is the brand of those new brushes, the one she is These using? These are now? called Bristolon. They're silver. They're part of the silver brush company. I had never seen them before because they're a slight, slightly upgraded brush from... I didn't think there was a better one than the Ruby Satins, but these actually are technically even finer than those, and they're really nice. But the only thing they don't do is the... Um, they don't have the angle, but they're no. very nice. They have a really nice spring to them. i got to say I really like them. Uh, Cinnamon said try them. You know, she was lucky enough. You know, Cinnamon has a deal. My daughter Cinnamon, the art has got a really nice contract with um, a silver brush company, and she's getting her own brand of brushes out, and they let her try everything they made. And so she got to select some stuff, and really good stuff. And they even designed some brushes for her, which I think I'm really excited about. That I think that's the first brush company that ever actually talked to an artist before they decided to make a brush. Um, that's kind of unusual. It's, it's really interesting. Um, like, I'm convinced that architects don't... You know, I wonder who designs houses and, des and, and decides where to put washing machines. Obviously, they've never done laundry in their life. <laughs> I guess, okay? they, yeah, it's a guy thing. You know, and, yeah. I mean, I, it's really nice when somebody's I listening. don't know why they wouldn't put them off the kitchen all the time. Even people with basements, why they still didn't make a, a, a laundry room off the kitchen. I know. You know, that so anyway, that's logical. too dark, so I'm going to put a little more blue here. This We want this a little darker, but not as, um, not, not as light as this one. Here's our next hill. Uh, Cheryl, Cheryl gave us a little insight here. Barns were painted red because the rust that they added helped to kill the fungi that might grow on the wood. Well, that's interesting, too. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so you see... Hey, there's nothing else. We educate you. Yeah. All right, so now this is our next layer of paint. Now, look, this is slightly darker, and I've left a little bit of that dark blue line for a ridge line. Do you see that? I do. A little bit of that. Now, we can... Um, and you can see a little bit of the blue sky kind of peeking through. So all in all, we're in good shape here. All right? So it say so, like that. And if you want to do, come over here and do that, like that. So now, I want to do another layer of paint here. So I'm going to take some ultramarine blue. I'm almost out of that. And a tiny bit of raw umber. And I'm all out of ultramarine blue, so let's put some more out. Okay, like that. And we're going to give it one more coat on this canvas. Um, a little, little bit, bit more white. Here we go. Let's just, here we go. A little more white, tiny bit of the raw umber. There we go. Just soften that up. All right. So this is our more blue. All right. Here we go. So I want this. Here's our blue color coming down again. Like this. And as we bring it down, here's some more white. Okay. So I want this to be slightly different than, uh, this is going to be slightly darker than the others. Okay. So here, here's our blue, and I can kind of redefine these mountains. And this is your next coat. And um, when I, I actually shot this whole video, if we lose, we lose this feed, I have made a video for this picture. Well, I've already done well, so one. So far, it's been a nice feed. Now, it could have been our picture in the picture that didn't like. Okay, well, all right. So let's just get this down here like this and lighter here like that. So there's our, um, all right, that's our, that's our three mountains. You can kind of see that, and I'll just kind of blend it out here. Okay. So hey, they would like to, um, Cheryl would like to hear some stories of our vacation, our holiday. We don't call it vacation We're anymore. Trying, our holiday, okay. Holiday. All right. So uh, we can be doing that. I'm going to um, um, dry stuff. Um, would you like to bring up, do you have your um, book picture that we did yesterday? Because we didn't show uh, oh, yeah, uh, Kathy's. Uh, yeah, we didn't show this. I'm going to dry this. Um, uh, when I'm drying this, you can maybe show this. This is the painting that we're releasing. Um, for our members Thursday, all right? For if you remember gingercooklive.gallery, we're releasing this one if you want to zoom back out just a yep, hair, yep, right? Yep, 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 yep. And this is another one of these wonderful old dead artist guys. Uh, for, but he was another American. This is part of our Americana series. He was another American. And I love this. I thought you would get it in time for Father's Day if you got busy. <laughs> <laughs> if you got real busy. It, it's, you know, this, look at the texture in this and that. I'm going to show you the original painting for that. This is the original painting, and you see the texture, and, the, and, the, and I was able to get that. How cool is that, okay? I love it. And if you, if you like this one, this is the same artist. If you haven't done this one yet, 
um, this is one of our others that we have on our website to teach you how to do. You know, we go from beginner to advanced lessons on gingercooklive.gallery, and it's a deal. We have over 300 lessons and so many different ones in the series. But I love this. This is our new stuff. So while you're looking at that, let me dry this. Just hold this up, and I'll dry it. All and right. John will tell you more Let's things. See. You got any stories you want to tell about our trip? Well, I'll come up with something, I'm sure. All right. Um, well, yeah, as Nancy said there, I, we went and visited Nancy, and uh, we also visited um, uh, Karen, my first wife's family. And they were very receptive of Ginger, and it was very cool. It was uh, it was very short. It was a short visit, but it was a lot of fun to see Nancy. I hadn't seen her in uh, way too long. And it was good to see Karen's family, too. I hadn't seen them in a long time. And then we continued our drive. We had a great time in uh, Kissimmee. We had a real vacation day where we played uh, Goonie Golf. And we, you know, when I call it Goonie Golf. They call it, you know, uh, Miniature Golf. And it's a great cool course. We got some video footage of that. And when I get a chance, I'll, we'll put that up on YouTube. And we also played one of those mystery games. Um, it was just the two of us. You really need four people. We're going to do another one of those probably here in Houston. We'll see if we can get some Houston people to come and join us. And we're going to do one of those. Because that was a lot of fun. And we did pretty good with it. We have an hour to escape this room where we had to save a patient. Uh, needless to say, the patient did not survive. But we had a lot of fun doing it. And those were cool to do. So, I think she's back. Uh, this is nifty, isn't it? Nifty. Don't you think this is, this is absolutely nifty? Nifty. And, um, so anyway, we, one thing about it, you know, I don't teach you just to paint like me. I teach you to paint like all kinds of people, which I think is kind of fun. It's no t you know, everybody wants to paint something different. Look, this could just be one big painting if you kept it going, huh? Whoa. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh right? Here okay, so let's take a look. We're going to say we've got some... Um, we're going to have some, we're going to come up here about four fingers like that yeah, and say that there, we've got some sort of um, little thing here like this down here. Don't, not, don't get, leave me at least three fingers from the top of your hill, right? We're going to just say that that's going to be where our, our greenery is, okay? All right. All right, that's where our greenery is right there. Can, does that, you can't even see that. I can, I can see it. it. Can you guys see yeah. that? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, now it's so looking, anyway, so what, what, what are the things we did? We, we haven't shown, we, gosh, we got to show the suitcase thing, right? Where we, you know, keep threatening to show you the suitcases we painted. Be that the beer stein, the picture we just did, that's a three cookie? Yeah. Yeah, that's a three cookie. Yeah, and the other one was a four, I think, or a box of cookies. The other one's a little more complicated. But we do have, if you want to, I don't know if you got that one off of Pinterest from one of our members that did it and did it so beautifully, that last one with the book and the marble. Yeah, I've got Kathy's ready to show. Yeah, we'll show you that next time we uh, do something. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a, a, a tree... And we're going to come up here like this and kind of Y something here like this, up here like that. Um, okay, and then we've got one over here. It's kind of going up this way like that. All right, I'm going to take a long kind of skinny brush and put some water on it. And here's the trick. I'm going to take a little bit of purple and magenta. All right, and add a little bit of burnt umber to that. I want this sort of wine color. If you had lizard and crimson, that would be a good color too, all right? And I'm just going to dip the brush in water, and I want you to see where I'm kind of rolling the, kind of roll the, roll the extra paint, roll the extra paint off the edges. Now, if you hold your brush straight up and down like this, straight up and down, and you push, there you go, just, and then as you let the pressure loose, it will get thinner. Wow, just like magic. So the water just on the tip, that's what that little bit of water is for <laughs> right there. Start back here again. I'm going to come on up here. So, and I'm going to come up here like this. And let's see, a little bit more water on the tip of the brush. Okay, so I've got that right here. I'm going to make this a little bit, this branch a little bit thicker now. I'm going to thicken this one up. And then as we come over here, it's going to get very thin. The lighter the pressure, the thinner it will be. Uh, the line and also the more vertical you hold the line that will help too and just make sure you've got enough brush on you know, paint on the tip of your brush and you're going to Y them like this Y the branches and also we can add some more branches and it's a tree so if your branch is slightly different than mine I mean you know it probably grew in the last few days and so it's different it's got to be okay right all right, now this is a little thick right here, so I'm going to erase that part. 
I don't like that branch. So I'm clean brush, it's wet. I've dried everything, the brush is wet. I'm going to sneak under here like this. Now you see me go back and forth. Look how I erase that. Rinse, wipe the brush, and then come in here, wiggle it away from where you're wanting to erase, and you get about a quarter of an inch at a time. That's as much as you can That's erase. That's not a quarter of an inch. What is it? Maybe a sixteenth. That's all you get then. <laughs> <laughs> quarter inch. The thing's not even a quarter inch wide. <laughs> Fine. The whole line Fine. would be gone. I'm talking about the length, not the width. Oh, I see. Pay attention. <laughs> take notes if you have to. Take notes. That's right. <laughs> All right. See. You how will we can be tested kind of, later. See how you can kind of. You, this is how you erase. Okay. But it has to be fairly stiff brush. That's one of those ruby satin silver angle brushes I like so much. And if you guys haven't been up to the brush guys lately, they're on brushguys.com. If you go to the teacher section. You will see my um, page where I, you can find out about these angle brushes, which are so fantastic. And also, if you use my name, Ginger Cook, all one word, you get a 5% discount. And we like the brush guys because they do ship around the world. Sylvia said that she, in Australia, said they charged her about $25 to ship a whole box full of brushes. Which I thought was pretty good. Halfway I know Canada the world has some bucks. different rules as far as you know what you can you know ship to yeah but uh, you know so i can't we're not speaking for all countries we, we don't know but we're just saying that we have found a lot of a lot of places won't ship if you, if you don't live in the united states that they, they won't ship also ruby satin silver brushes are also available in europe and art stores um they're, they they're they're an international company so you know i'm not saying you got to go buy them from the brush guys if you're living overseas you can find them, you know, everybody's on a budget, okay? I'm going to bring this one down a little bit lower like that. So there's that branch. And then we're going to come down here and say that that somewhere in here there's some, uh, let's see, a little bit of water on the brush. We're going to say that here's this, here's our, I don't want to connect it, all right? Um, because I, I, I don't want to have to paint over the dark brown. But somewhere here there's going to be, um, we know that there's, you know, something happened down here, okay? <laughs> I mean, you know, and we're there's, talking there's, about that, and there's, though. And there's flowers, right? So, I mean, what else do you need to know here? Maybe I want a little fun, funny little branch like this. Don't you love this brush? It's a great Barely brush. touch it. Yeah, you're okay. so steady. What is this brush is? What is this it is? This is something that's all covered with paint. Good luck me telling you. Yeah, you never know. No, no idea what it is. But, but is you know, that the triple lot? Well, it's a triple lot something, but it's but oh. it's got a little bit longer. When you're trying to make branches, if you get one where the where it's skinny, but it's, it goes to a point, but the you know but you this is like a little paint. bit longer um, brush. The paint holder. Yeah. So all right. So rinsing that. Put it in right here. Never leave these sitting in water, man, because what happens is, is that they, they just bend and then they're gone. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to dry this. John's going to show you uh, that other painting while I'm drying this, okay? I am. Okay, here we go. All right, this came in from a user. It's a brush, uh, silver brush company, famous Ruby Satin. Yes. Ruby Satin is one of the brush, silver brush company's brushes. Wendy, I'm sorry you're buffering. We're doing great tonight. Maybe Comcast did something. All my yelling and screaming and spending all day with them. Hey, take a look at this painting. This just came in from Kathy, Kathy E. And look at the magnificent job she did on that. And she gave us, which we really appreciate, a close-up. Take a close-up of the envelope. And look at that. Look at the detail she put in that. And even on the back, you can see in the top right corner, she was writing to... Uh, the president there, President Jimmy Carter. So it's like, why did she all of a sudden get noisy? Why did you turn up? Talk to me for a second. Oh, isn't that great? Well, no. You all of a sudden you came in blasting in my ear. I give up. Why did that happen? I don't know. Well, don't you? This was a gift for a family member, and she personalized the letter and everything. Isn't that cool? And she, this woman has really good. You know, this is a lot about penmanship and a lot about calligraphy. You know, calligraphy is a whole new art. You know, the art of, you know, good penmanship is not the same as being an artist. And so, you know, being able to paint things. And so it's sort of cuts an interesting painting because it's a combination of needing to do those things. But this is really well done. And I like it very piece. much how she did it. And, and I'm very 
very happy. I thought you guys would like that. And that's available over at gingercooklive.gallery. And remember, people think that you have to be a subscriber for like months on end. You can just take nine ninety five and then just buy any old week and then you come back in a couple weeks and buy another week and you know, buy as you can play, because it's called a time saver. Or Weird. for twenty one ninety five a month if you're a um, a senior, you can you've got a month worth of lessons, over three hundred lessons. We add four new ones a week. Plus, you get personal art coaching with all the stuff on YouTube that I teach, plus the stuff on our website, plus one painting that's your original piece. If you have one that you want to talk about, you know, maybe you do a project, you know, you get one a month of those with me. So it's a great deal. So it's worth subscribing. All right. Now, in the, the way I did this video the first time, okay, I put the green first and then I put the flowers on top. Okay, that's what I did. But one thing I do know I have to do is put in this little pine tree, which is right here. So we're going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue, which I seem to be constantly running out of, okay? And I'm going to take a little phthalo blue and ultramarine blue, make kind of a dark blue color, tiny bit of purple with it, like 1%. And I'm going to start up here, and I want to say, here's a little pine tree. Let's get that a little bit darker. little pine tree like that. Start small, remember? Like Christmas trees. A little pine tree. Get the branches kind of going up like this, just little dots of paint. We're going to say it, and it says that this is a pine tree. Make this a little bit darker in the middle. Too much paint on the brush like that. Here's our little pine tree right here. And I want it to go over the top of that first hill so it's in the other area. Okay. Make it a little wider at the bottom and then come in here. A few little spots of dark, maybe a little even purple on it. One of a few little dark spots here, like that. All right, so that's my pine tree right there. And actually, I need it to come up even a little more than that. Okay, let's make this slightly bigger. There we go. Better. Okay, so there's our little pine tree. And then we've got one over here that's sort of, it was very vague, but we'll put it in. A little tiny one over here. Something that's peeking up over our that's back in the background okay so there's our two pine trees and now we can what what's coming up and what I'm afraid of when I talk about this is I want I don't I want to find a way to explain these flowers to you in such a way that a light bulb is going to go off in your head and going oh man why didn't I think of that that is such a cool idea okay so the first thing they're not cut out the chalkboard we're going to talk about these flowers because the first thing these flowers are not is circles okay they're not but everybody gonna you know so you don't have a tree like this with some circles on it because <laughs> I know some of you're gonna say how do you wait how do you think I did like my and I'm going no because if we're doing balloons you'd be doing great right but we're not doing multicolored balloons now if you think about it and these flowers are not circles if you think about think about your flowers think about your your different flowers if you think about if you thought about a balloon that was round, okay, so one side is, you know, if you wanted to say an object is round, okay, you're, it's going to be sh shaded on one side, right? How do we make anything look round? How do we make a ball look round, right? So you have a light and a dark side, true? You have a dark side and a light side. If you're, any, anytime you do it, you know, it's our basic drawing 101. So you, you don't want a flat flower. You don't want it to look like it's, um, I don't know what, um, like a flat piece of cardboard like this, you know, with colors. So you want it to have dimension. And, and so you think about it, it doesn't matter if you're talking about lilacs or grays or whatever, there's got to be a light and a dark side. And it doesn't have to just be a cylinder. You're thinking about those flowers. They all have dimension to them, okay? And they're going to have a light source that's going to be lighter somewhere to make it look rounder, okay? Like that, so it's going to be. It's supposed to just say a flat circle, okay? Like that. So, if you know that, right? Which we just—I know you do because I just told you. <laughs> that's what we need to do. That's right? if you're paying attention. You know, and we so assume if you, you know, are. know that. So now, how are you going to how are you going to create that flower? Well, the one thing you want to do is you want where these flowers are going to be. The marks are like little quotation marks, like this. You're going to make little brush strokes like that, okay? Well, we're going to have to zoom in for that activity. Can you want to zoom in? You're going to make little brush well, I can strokes. I see that there I want, when you actually do it. All right. So you're going to make little brush strokes like that. So in other words, little quotation mark strokes like this, okay, with your brush. Kind of vary it like that. 
and some of them are going to be darker and some of them are going to be lighter and just like this ball we're going to suggest a round flower okay just by the colors we make it so we know for instance in this painting he's got the light coming from this direction so if you thought about a, a clock I just told you not to do a circle, but okay. <laughs> and you now you tell us to think about a clock. You're, you're know, really, you're talking about between 9 o'clock and about 1 o'clock is probably the lightest part of this. And the underside, probably between 7 and, you know, maybe 3 is going to be your darker side. Okay, that's going to be your darker side of this, okay. And then there may be some lighter bits in the middle, too, because it's going to, remember, because it's not just a flat circle. So... Some of the light's going to hit this, and then there's going to be some darker stuff. So think about that in your mind when you're painting it. I think that will make a big difference. Now, I need to find a little tiny brush. I'm going to put this one away. The one that's right there? This one right here. I don't oh. want a little pointy brush. I want one like this. Okay, so the first thing, we're just going to put some of these flowers on. I'm going to do the green last, I've decided. Okay? Really? Well, yeah, we didn't do it this way. You could have done the green first and do the green last. So we're going to start up here, and we need a peach color. So we're going to start with white in yellow and a tiny bit of cad red medium and we've got a peach color wow That's, just like magic okay just like magic so i'm going to sit there and i'm going to say here's my first one i'm going to just using this little angle brush i'm going to just a few little dots and what we want is the edges raggedy so they're not a complete circle maybe they're um, maybe an oval shape in some places or if there's you know they've got a, a, a uneven edge Okay, and the flowers touch, all right? So we'll just start with some colors here. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to say there's some colors. Now, here's another one up here. This is flower number two, and it may or may not connect to these branches. I don't know, but we're just going to say that it's going over this part, and we're going to say here's another flower. Over in this corner, we're going to do another one like this. And just right now, I'm just going to kind of rough them in. I had, when I was recording this, I must have done 10 layers on these things. And that, you know, that's kind of what takes a little time, but that's all right. And then I had one over here, which I haven't put a branch into. So I'm going to say, here's a little one over here like that. I'm going to say, here's a little branch for that one. And let's see, we've got something here. So, all right, we're out of paint. See how fast we went out of paint. So start with the yellow and the white. A little bit of cad red medium. Here's our, um, let's a little bit more cad red with that, make that a little darker. We're going to say, here's our next flower. A little tiny bit darker so I can see it. Okay, here's our next flower coming in here like that. It's one of the lower ones. It's going to come in here. So, th so this is actually one, two, three, four, five flowers. But they touch, you know, so they're overlapping. Okay. So now just putting in that with the little brush strokes. That doesn't look like anything. And it, that's, that's where you can't, you can't stop there. But okay, so we're saying that's there. Let's come down, zoom back down. Okay. We ignore those now. We're going to come in here. Where are you? And I'm going to say that uh, in this area down here, there's a little tiny, I'm just going to put a few little dots down toward the bottom here. There's one. And I've got another one up here. So I'm just sort of right now, I'm, I'm using this peach color to kind of roughly sketch them in. Then I've got one here. I've got a group of them here, kind of a grip of them, that are all going to blend together at some point. So they're all up in here, kind of like that shape, because they're all together. More. All right, now this is where there's kind of a neat one. There's a nice big one in here. I'm going to put a little more white with this. There's a nice big one in here like this. Get more paint. This is a nice big one. We're going to kind of come around here. There might even there might be one or two. Um, I just want you to see these are going to be white in here, but we're just putting some color on here now so we can get something, okay? All right, so now we're going to come over here and we're going to put another one. And I think I can do this. I can be drawing. One can be drawing so I can come back and not have to dry. Okay, and then I know I've got one up here. It's another flower. Okay. And over here, too. I'm going to say that here's one. Okay, and then I've got another side one right here. Just putting one here, little brush strokes. And this is almost an X. It's not, and if I have to, I can take some green paint and go in and rechange the shape. And I know I've got a nice big one in here, all over this stuff right here. Nice big one. This, this, I gotta warn you right now, this video is gonna run probably 30 minutes over. 
uh, to get this done. I hope that's all right, if we can hold the feed, right? We've only had one hiccup so far. It yeah. Was a, it was a quick, a quick hiccup. Yeah, okay, so let's bring something down into this area. We're kind of losing some of our branch, but that's okay. That's why we put it in there, just so we kind of know where stuff was. Little one down here like that. Okay, something off in the woods here. Now, I'm going to change colors and add some magenta to this in white because this is these are really more pink. Now, I'm going to come up here to the top one, do a few little little touches like this and say that this is our this is one up here like this. See how the edges are sort of raggedy and we're going to say there's another one here. Lori's asking uh, what kind of flowers are these? I think these are um Rhododendrons. rhododendrons. Yeah. These are some, these are rhododendrons. But, and we used to call them in Washington State roadies. You know? Um, kind of a funny. Oh, you want to know about our trip? Okay, can you kind of see what I'm doing while I'm painting little flowers here? No, I think I can so. tell you about the trip. Okay, so John and I drove to Florida. And we were, and I guess you guys saw the videos of us, you know, having friends, you know, meeting some friends, you know, some of you guys for four so people that watch our show five and we we met in in um pensacola pensacola florida and you know had dinner and that was really fun and um we also got to when we went to haiti we got to see andrew and we showed you the videos of that and he got a lesson in there andrew lives in haiti and uh has a business there and let's see what i'm just focusing on here what um, to tell you, one of the things that the, the, the lure ship that we were on, 6,000 people, 6,000 people, and uh, they had two ways to get on, the, you, know, to, you know, front and aft to get on the boat, so it didn't seem like that big a deal when you loaded all those people on there. When the elevators, when you were waiting for an <laughs> elevator, you had a real sense there were a lot of people on the boat the first day, because everybody was trying to get on the elevator at the same time, seemed like, and then everybody went up to the cafeteria to try and eat at the same time. That was another one of those deals where everybody was trying to eat. Here we're doing another layer down under here like that. See, I'm tapping these on. And so what are the, somebody that's asked us, what's, what's, what can you eat on a ship? Well, they have so many different nationalities of people. They have all kinds of food. And they had all these restaurants. I don't know how many restaurants. Then ice skating rink on the ship, which we never actually even saw. Um, they did a full video production of, uh, not video, but a Broadway production of Mamma Mia for three and a half hours. And the only caveat to get to any of those shows was you had to make reservations ahead of time. They were free, but with 6,000 people, they had, they had all these things you could see, but 6,000 people all couldn't see them if they all wanted to see them. So the people that were kind of in the know, they, they made their reservations ahead of time, okay? And that's how they got, um, that's how they were able to uh, you know, see a lot of this stuff. All right, so we've got one, two, th cluster here, three. Um, this is up a little higher. These are almost touching. Cluster here, here, and here. Okay, see where I am? Back here, you can zoom back out just a hair, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Got it. Got so, it. Got all right, it. so you see where, all right, that's, those are our flowers. So I've c continued with that. Now I'm going to take some yellow and some phthalo blue and a tiny bit of dozening purple, just a touch. Okay, and I want to come in here now, and I'm going to create some green. And just where I'm saying that where my flowers are not, I'm going to create a little green. This is my first layer of green, and you see the same little kind of dots that we're doing. Why are you rocking? Well, because um, I'm rocking because this is not a level canvas. This canvas is, uh, is warped. See that? Look at that. So that's why we're rocking. Okay. Okay. Um, I uh, sure would like to know, did you dance? Did we go dancing? Did we go dancing? We didn't go dancing, did no. we? No, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, you know what it was? There were a lot of people, and it was noisy. I <laughs> just show you, you're getting old. There was a lot of people, and it was noisy. And, and uh, that, that they didn't allow smoking um, in places, um, except for, uh, I, in fact, people who, you know, in, in the olden days would get a ship, you know, get a balcony so they could smoke. They didn't even allow them to smoke. There was just a couple places people could smoke. So it wasn't that. But there was this dinge of noise everywhere that I found. I just kept longing for something, someplace quiet. I know that's kind of silly, but, you know, John, too. Wouldn't you say so? It was oh, yeah. very, very noisy. And, okay, I've got to make some more color, make some more greens. 
more yellow. Let's take a little yellow oxide and add to that. Okay, there we go. Let's make a little brighter green here. All right, so coming in here like that and making our greens. Yeah, it was very noisy, but I mean, really liked it. But that was the one thing. We would go up in the morning to have breakfast at the Windjammer, which is the cafeteria. And, um, it's not really a cafeteria. I mean, it kind of is, but you know, it's not really. It's it's just, just, it, don't think of a cafeteria like a cafeteria. It's, it's better quality than. Yeah, it, the food was really excellent, absolutely, and there was tons of it, you know. And um, but you know, after you were finished, they wanted you to leave because other people wanted to sit down. And it wasn't until the last day that we we are there two weeks. Last day, we found the adult section where the the kids weren't allowed. I'm telling you what, there's nothing scarier than getting on a stroller with a lot of people and then someone rolls up with with a double stroller, you know what I mean? So that, I don't know, just, uh, but anyway, we, there were a lot of, it was really had a good time, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah. I, yeah, I we had, we that. had a blast and I, and, and we did, and then we had this aqua show. There was this aqua show where they had these guys and how high were they diving, John? It was really Oh, it's scary. gotta be three stories, maybe Three four. stories into this little tiny pool about the size of this table. I swear, it was the <laughs> tiniest thing. And I'm thinking, Ben, if I was your mother and you were one of my kids, there'd be none of this diving off a three story. What, are you Are you crazy? You missed that and you were just so dead. But I mean, it was a thrilling to watch and it was in a big outdoor auditorium. They had a merry-go-round. Oh yeah, you have, you have to wait to see that got, footage on that one. Yeah, okay, that's really, <laughs> yeah, that we, I, I don't know if I'll even let you see it. John filmed me trying to get on one of the merry-go-round horses, which was... Um, now remember, she used to be a... Uh, world champion horseback rider. Yeah. So I didn't think there would be a big deal at <laughs> no all. No big deal at all. About getting on it. Here, add it to more yellow. Do you see that brighter yellow to this? Kind of lightening up the, the, um, uh, the green now, okay? I didn't think it would be a big deal getting on that merry-go-round horse, but he's got footage to show that that's just not so. So we'll show you that sometime. I'm going to go back here with a little yellow oxide, because that's more gold, and come up here like that. Say there's some yellow. It's, it's a little dot to our green here. Now, do you find it easier to do it after? Well, you know, I don't. You know, I think they probably did. Well, yeah, because oil. they probably, probably did oil. Because he was doing oil, so I thought I'd do it this way and see. I don't think it. I thought that the flowers might be a bit brighter if I did it afterwards you know so that's oh, what okay. that's where i'm going for that's what okay. i'm going for I but i you. still have to come back here and and make sure that you know you've got a you've got some little leaves coming up here but make sure that these are all raggedy edges there's just not like a like an outline you know how leaves are kind of they they kind of get away from each other in other words don't do a guy thing on it yeah so i'm going to get some darker green now and come in here and hit some darker areas I don't know. I don't. You just add some more blue to it and come back here with some darker sections. Actually, it's not bad. You know that. It doesn't look bad to me at all. And, um, and as we go on, we'll add some more. And I kind of like the blue showing through too. A little bit of that blue, but that's okay. We'll 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 do this now. I will put the green last up here on the plants. Okay. So now I have to stop and dry all of this. Well, well maybe I don't. Oh wait. What, 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 what's, the what's the next step on the top? Well, I've got to do the next step on top. Okay, so now make sure you have all the green off. Because remember, green is opposite red Red on the color wheel. So if you mix wet red and wet green together, you have a hot mess. You just have muddy gray color. So if you're having trouble with your greens, you're having trouble with your reds, dry, dry, dry. Do more drying. All right, so now let's just come up again. here. And um, again, I've got to quit putting nothing in that corner ever again. I'm taking that corner and just tearing it off because I keep putting my hand in it, and that's just don't don't you laugh? I'm, I'm not just, laughing. It was not laughing. me laughing. I, I, he's laughing. Oh. Like, then nothing's going here because my hand goes here. All right. So now, white. Paint. One would move the palette a little bit further away from you. Well, that's one solution. All right. So here's some white. <laughs> apparently, paint it's not the right solution. Into the, into the I'm gonna. I want some lighter color up here. Do you see on the top of this? Now we talked about little tiny. Well, let's uh, zoom in a little bit there and like see what that, you're doing. Little tiny lighter color. The same thing here on the top of this one. Let's say that I want some lighter color up here. And the same thing here over here. I want some lighter color on top of this a lighter peach up here. Okay, I want some lighter color. And then I'm going to move over here and do the same thing. I want some lighter color up here like that. Just tap it in. Same thing here. Up on the very top and tap, over here tap, really tap. between that. It's just dab, dab, but it's the idea of it. You're doing these layers, these all... Because each flower gets its own little bit of lighter color, okay? Does make sense? Each flower has got its own little petals that are lighter as the light can, as the sun sort of shining on them on the top part. And they come in layers, so maybe there's a, like another little layer here, which I'll put something underneath. 
okay so we just keep what the trick with this painting is it's lots of little layers it's layers and layers and then I actually am going to be doing some glazing on top of all of this to get my color now, do you see, did, they, did, you, did they do the same thing in oil what they glaze sure huh you bet no as far as the layering too yeah, they're layering it too. Absolutely, everybody. Do they have layers. to dry between them, or they just plopped it on? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes oil painters will have several paintings start, started at once, mm. and then they dry. Okay, so you see that now. Let's make a darker color. Let's take some. Let's cut out some new yellow, and um, here we go. So I want to move some yellow over, kind of here, closer to these colors, because I want some, you know, some yellow and magenta make a darker kind of orangey color like that see we're going to come under here like this and say here's some darker shades of color on this side same thing under here we're going to come back here and say this is some darker stuff in here like that same thing under the knee side over here same thing over here a little bit darker see and we go one sometimes I tell you to go one two three stop and then look again one two three stop so a little bit darker here under the underneath side. Let's, put, let's, let's go pinker here on this side. A little bit of pink, magenta, and white. One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. A little magenta and white. We're getting into the you know magenta colors now. One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. Stop all toward the bottom. We're keeping the colors a little darker. Okay. And then maybe under here, one, two, and stop. Let's come back over here with some magenta and white and just do another pink. That was orange, so let's do a little darker peach color here, the magenta color in here too. Let's get some darker colors. I love all the colors in these flowers, all right? So you kind of see what I've done here. Now, we haven't done any of the blue stuff, but we've got that. And um, I think I see a flower right here I missed. I think there's one right in here that we're going to put in here. Just like that. We're going to add another one right there. Okay. All right. So now let's take some white while it's still wet. Touch it up here in a couple places. Just titanium. Okay. Like that. Maybe because we're going to glaze over some of this. Here's some light. See how it's coming? You kind of see it now. When we glaze over that, it'll be. There's a little bit of white up here, the same thing here up on top. Tap, tap, three. Tap, tap, one, two, three. Tap, tap, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So um, I would say, and then they had, uh, they had a comedy club on the ship that uh, was a real comedy club for about 200 people. He had a res reservations for that, too. Is this dry enough? Let's try it. Um, I've got to dry this down here, John, I think. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Just give me a second. Let me just dry this real quick. Okay? Go for the screen, it. screen, right? Yep, go. We have one more of uh, Kathy's we're going to share with you. This was her Van Gogh stone bottles. Again from Kathy E. Who apparently is here tonight with us. Another fine job. Kathy, how long have you been painting? We're kind of curious on that. You're going to have to be one of the first people to fill out the questionnaire so we know what's going on. Again, we have a new questionnaire coming out um, for our members so we get to know you a little bit better. That'll be introduced um, in a couple of days with our new form of sending in your artwork. I'm trying to make things easier for you so we can get more organized. Was oh. the comedian good? Yes, he was very funny. We had two of them, two different comedians. Yeah, they were very funny. Though there was one comedian, he was talking about, I have to say this, because I was telling my daughter and my friends about it, he was talking about how strange his wife was whenever they went to go somewhere on a trip. And um, so I you know, hate to tell his joke, but to me, I didn't understand why he thought it was funny. We're going to do some of this light, light peach now, right? Going to come up here like this, the top of this, do these lighter flowers here on top. Anyway, he thought it was weird because whenever his wife went, uh, they went on a trip, a cruise or whatever, right? She would take us one of the bedrooms and create a staging room, all right? And then nobody was allowed in the staging room. And if you took the toothpaste, he, she'd go, don't touch that, that's the trip toothpaste. And I'm thinking, yeah, and so what's funny about that? Isn't that what everybody does? I mean, yes, you have a, you, when you're packing, you, 
You yes, have, you have yes. your trip tooth, your, your toothpaste that you have for the trip, and your, you know, your mosquito repellent, which is different than the stuff in the sun cream. It is not house. You know, it's been designated as a new purpose. No one's supposed to mess with it. And you have a little list. Anyway, he was sort of talking about his wife and, and her, and her weirdness and everything he said about her that he thought was so weird. I'm going. She seems like a perfectly sane person <laughs> to me. I don't know why everyone thinks this is hilarious. You know. <laughs> I think that they're being very unfair to her. That was sort of funny, right? I thought some of his jokes were... The comedians were very funny, and it was intimate. We could sit in the front row. And usually when you go to a comedy club, it's full of people smoking. And uh, they don't allow smoking in there, so that was great to be able to sit in a small venue like that and really enjoy it. All right, see how my light flowers are coming along here, you guys. Light on the top. Okay, light up here, and then let's see. Let's come over here and add some light ones. See, it's coming along. I see it's coming along, right? And how we're painting this. And uh, what happened here? What are you doing? I was just I was wondering why. I'm, oh, here it is. I'm, I'm so crazy. I'm looking for. I've actually got the photograph sitting next to me. I was going to say it's right me. next to you. That's why I've I got the out photograph what sitting next to me, and I just was looking for it a second ago. This is. <laughs> I figured as long as I was doing that, I might as well you know, use that again as a reference, you know. So anyway, that was really a lot of fun. And so we, um, and when we, when we changed room, because we were on there for two weeks, so we had, it was a last minute decision to extend the trip. So we had to change cabins. Um, which was no problem. Which was no problem. I thought we were going to have to get off the ship and wait in line for another, you know, six hours to get back on. But what they did was, they had us all meet in an assembly area, uh, just a nice little one of the lounges. There was about, I don't know, 15 people that were doing that. And uh, we were given a little form to fill out to f circle the, the venues of stuff we wanted to see the following week where we'd have priority seating at those. How cool was that, right? And now I'm going to change now. I'm going to add a little purple, ultramarine blue, and uh, white, okay? A little pink. We're going to go into some purpley colors down here. A periwinkle. Kind of our shadow, kind of periwinkle colors. I love down that here name. Like that. Periwinkle. And we're going to say I that down here. This is the shadow be a part of our, uh, our, our flowers down here because they're in the shade. So there's a little bit of purple, and that, especially down here at the bottom. See underneath. Now we have a little bit of that up here, but it's not so, um, it's not so dark. It's well, look, guess it is. Here it is. A little bit of the purple stuff underneath. See, it's a little bit dark. Here we go. Like that, a little bit of the purple. So that's the shadows of your flowers, the bottoms of the flowers. It's this little bit of purple stuff that's happening. This is why you have to have so many layers of, of color. So this, is a, this isn't a painting that's just done in a few seconds. I'd love it to be. That would be true, but it's why? pretty. Why? The, the, the adventure is the painting itself. Why? What are you, a machine? Just need to crank these things out? Are you I going into production? No. You should be sitting there and enjoying this. Well, I, I'm having fun. I hope everybody else is having fun. So anyway, John and I really love comedians, and so we had a good time. Now I'm adding a little more thalo blue to this and white. So it's still, as we've changed the color a tiny bit. And we've added a little bit. We've given some of these a little bit more blue. And the same thing down here, too. A little bit of thalo blue. Let's put a little yellow with it and make a on white. Let's make a like a um, turquoise. Do you see this turquoise color I just made? Yeah, that's a pretty color. It's pretty. So I'm going to come in here like this. A little more white with that. Here we go. With this turquoise color. That looks like you went bluer. Yeah, now I'm going to put a little of that turquoise in. And then I want um, a little bit. It's almost a blue green color in here like that. And let's see, more white. Do I have any more white? I have to put more out, white out. Mm, what am I doing here? Where's the white? Mm, okay, new, new spot of white. We're using up colors. But look how pretty these flowers are getting now that we're layering the colors, all right? So, you, okay, so more white. Here we go. Pinch the brush. More white here. So this is a, there's a blue in here, but it's lighter in here like that. There's some of this color over in here. Um, let's see, I'm just looking to see where else I want it. Um, down here toward the bottom with a little bit of this blue and a little bit of this purple. See, down in here. It's almost a gray. What I have to tell you, it almost feels a little gray when we come down here. Now here's a little deeper purple and a little ultramarine blue. 
and we're going to get a little bit darker in a couple spots um, because we've got these blue leaves that are coming down like this. They're, they're, a, they're a leaf that's shaped like... I'm going to get my uh, chalkboard out for a minute and show you. Okay, they're they're coming down from the plant like this. Oh wait, wait, wait! You're you're out of my range. Here we go. Yeah, they're coming down from the plant like th the the shape of these. Well, is is um is this? Okay. okay. Off that plant like this. Okay, those are. It's it's not a hard leaf shape. You just have to know that that's what the. Now I'm going to show it to you here. Do you see? Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see these? Oh yeah. Do you see what I mean? See how they're coming down like that and doing this. Yeah. And they're going this way and that way, and doing that like that. See? Just kind of all. Yeah. So they almost of, look like little bananas. Yes, that's what I thought. Little banana shape here. Okay. So now, where did I put that brush? Where did I put it? In the, the banana back of the brush. Water? Hmm. Well, I should never stop. I get uh, here. It is. Ah. All right. Now, so I've got. I know I've got some of that color in here, but before I get too far with that, I want to put a little purple. Under here, like this, at the bottom of these, in here, like that. See, isn't that pretty? When you start putting these colors in, and the same thing up here, a little bit darker purple, up in here, in a couple of places. And uh, a little bit darker, just. We'll have to come back up here and do the um, other stuff, but I wanted to do that. And then here's some real light, kind of purpley blue color in this one up here like that just looking at the plant um i think i had a little flower over here too which we're going to create and we've got one up here behind the trees which we'll put the purple now and then the other colors later so there's a little flower back up in here okay all right so you can see kind of how we've got it now one of the things he had was um was he had some bright orange so i'm going to take some yellow and um red, cad red medium, right? And he had right up back up in here on the top, a couple of places, and don't get carried away, he had like one, two, bright orange. And then he had some bright orange right here, one, two, kind of in the center. Okay, so as we, as we just one, two there in this one. And there's more in here, there's more bright oranges in here, like that, than these bottom ones. Like right in here, this one had in the center, there was some bright orange right there. And, um, Cheryl would see. like to know why wouldn't you do the leaves before the flowers? Um, I think because they're um, some of them are overlapped and some of them are on top, and I think it's a question that you could do either way. But um, it's an either or. It's an even either or. It helped for the design for me to do the 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 flowers first. How's that from a design standpoint? That helped me a little bit, and I've got this darker darker one right here. Then over here, and then let's see, was there anything over here? Just a couple little ones. Okay, so that's these. Are, you can see how we're putting the flowers in, right? Kind of cool. Now, um, I'm going to just take a little bit of white and um, orange and make a little peach and just come up here like this and tap in. Let's say that back up in here, there's some little flowers. Here's one up here that's kind of off. Okay, a little bit of white on this one that got a little dark. Okay, maybe it's one tucking up under here like that. You barely see it. All right, so you're saying that there's a few little flowers there. Something right here, a little bit of white on here like that. Down here on this one. Okay, so that that's, I think I'm pretty close to there. And here's some of that green color that's right in here too. I'm going to put a little bit of that green color in here. Okay, so you can see where we're just tapping in, and the more colors you put, the prettier it gets. Now, to make the um, the dark blue leaves, it's like um, like purple and ultramarine blue. I think is pretty much a little tiny bit of white. That's kind of our color: purple and ultramarine blue, and thalo thalo blue and purple, and white is um, kind of the color for these leaves. And if I put some going this way with my angle brush, they're coming out like this. The angle brush really makes these beautifully because you can almost just push the brush and lift up, push the brush hard and lift up, 
and it will make the shape for you. You don't have to draw it in. You just start here and just push and lift up. Make sure you have the paint just flat on one side of the brush, like this. They're underneath like that. Okay. And if anybody came in late, th these were flowers that were apparently, the man was from Kentucky. So these are flowers from the south. They're I called think. the mountain laurels. Mountain okay. laurels, but I think they look like rhododendrons. Well, it's, it's part it's, of the rhododendron family. Is that what it is? Yep. Okay. Lori cast a little research for us. Oh, thanks, Lori. I appreciate that. So you got a little bit right there. We've got some coming. Um, I remember you're saying that some of these flowers, that's how you're separating them with some, some dark blue. You're saying that they, a lot of that was put a little more purple with that. Some dark ones coming out of here at the bottom, like that. And uh, almost in a, that looks like, what is that um, shape almost, an upside down V? We're going to say, I think, am I missing something like that? Okay. A little bit of white with that. So they're not all dark. There's some lighter ones, too. There's some, there, some lighter blue ones, and there's some dark ones like this. And let's see, where else have I got it? Maybe right here like that. There's a little dark. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, do the same thing. I want to come over this one, do some dark. All right, and there's some big ones coming out of here like that. And I think this, I think that this uh, pi picture, when I saw it, really appealed to me. And I thought it was something that it would, wouldn't be that hard to teach you guys to do. If I could get you not to make circles for the flowers, <laughs> I thought you'd all be fine with this. Because, I mean, most of you are sock folders, and you have the patience of Job when it comes to putting little dots of color on stuff. That's not a big deal. And you understood about, you know, some sides have got to be darker than others. So let me just grab this so I can look here. I want to be, um, I want the just to come off like that. Okay, and I want to come um, off like that one for here. And then there's some right here on the bottom. Remember, there's, these are more than one flower. This is why you want to, this is why we've got the layers here. So that's this flower. And then there's these. Okay, and then here's our little bush, which I might expand a little bit. Our little tree, pine tree. Okay, we've got some flowers coming this way off of here. Now just keep creeping on down, John. I'm with and you. And then we've got some in here. You just disappeared for a second. And then here like that. This is why I wanted to do it last. Um, for, for me, that's a little easier. A little bit last like that. And um, Well, it makes sense now that we see what you know, the end result. Again, we, but we, yeah, were, we were looking ahead. Well, and it's okay if you didn't. You could, I think you could do them. It's just for me, the way my mind works for, you know, figuring out a pattern, for me it's a little easier if I do them like this. But for somebody else it may be easier the other way, you know. I don't know if there's a right and wrong, but here like this, there's a flower in here, see. And the same thing, that like this one had a dark, there's some deep, dark, deep, dark woods here. Deep, dark, um, you know, stuff going down like this. Now I'm going to rinse my brush because what's happening is the paint's been uh, collecting in my brush. I'm going to pinch it and start again. So I have some, you know, after a while it starts clogging up like a, dr a drain, you know. So you got to stop that. Now I'm going to say here's some, you know, a little bit of dark right here. A little bit of dark right there. Ooh, there's some dark in here. Oh, I'm missing some. No, maybe not. I think I'm missing a flower right in here. I think I'm missing one right in there. All right, so you guys will put that in after we put the plant here. We're going to put the plant. We're going to put another one right here. Okay, a little bit of dark down here. Okay, and some dark leaves coming this way, down here at the bottom. Um, this is kind of that's the fun part, right? Just putting a little dark leaves, and then here on the branches too. There was a right here. Let me just make sure I unclog the brush here. Right here, all by its little self, out in outer space, there was one. It wasn't attached to anything, and there was a little white with it, like this. There was one, and they've got some lighter ones coming here underneath like that. They weren't all dark blue. There was a couple of them that were lighter, and believe it or not, there were some green ones. There was like a green one that was up up here, and a green one that was here, and uh, put a little tiny bit of red so it's not that bright with it, and kind of tone that down. There was another green one back in here like that. There wasn't any green over here on the right. So, okay, there was some 
more green let's see let's come up here a little bit we need another flower right there good to know right all right it's more green down here so, so scroll all the way scroll all the way down okay now there was more right in here there was just right where this was this area here was very dark what he did here was very dark like underneath here like that okay all right so we've got that one now i need another light flower right there so give me a second to dry that which i just dropped the hair dryer but i can get it okay you sure i think so ah all the moon all right got the hair dryer i need to dry that spot then we'll put another flower right there okay Alrighty, turning you down. Alright, I know some of you people are concerned about the new ticket system. It does sound a little ominous, but it will be very easy. Um, if there's a straight form and everything, instead of emailing back and forth, it's going to be just go right to the server. Meaning you're right to the server, then Ginger will get a notification there's a new ticket or a new, somebody just sent in there. Um, send in a piece of work to be checked and then she'll go back to the same server answer it and that way it stays all there and you guys will have a running history of what you've done so you'll be able to see your progress which is kind of cool and she's back i'm back i'm just trying to think what i did with the brush oh here it is all right i've cleaned it up and remember i've been using green with this so now i've really got to rinse it all right so i need another flower like right there which is easy to do. I mean, you know, there it is. I'm going to just put another one, a little bit of pink, a little bit of white. And I want another little flower right here. Okay, let's put a little bit more of the red underneath it, like that. Like that. And a little bit more white on top. These are all lighter. Okay. Okay, so these are the real light ones up here like this. We're going to go back over and lighten up a few things. Okay, a little bit. I'm just doing little globs of white paint, right, like that. And um, let's see, do I need to do anything up here? I think I'm pretty good, but we'll let's take a little bit of magenta and white. One thing you could do is you could take a little magenta and glaze some of these too if you got them too light and they weren't coloring in for you. All right, a little more pink here, a little bit just magenta and white. A little more pink on some of these. Okay, let's do a little something right there. Down like this. All right, so back us out a little bit, okay? Yeah, other way. Be the other way. Other way, back us out just a hair, okay? And you can see where we really are getting some nice, um, nice flowers here. And I'm going to come down here a little bit, bring some li lighter flower down here. Okay, but there's another one here. Here's a little bit of the orange color we want to put back. Okay, something like that. Darken these down here at the bottom. And the same thing right in here. Just add a little bit of dark like that. And I think this is looking kind of cute. Now one thing we could do, and we didn't do, but one thing we certainly could do, and it could have done this at any different time, and I want to just double check and make sure that I kind of got this the way I want it as far as my, my blue is. But I could take like a small brush. And this is zinc white. All right. Let's just, I'm not even going to put it out on the palette. I'm just going to take it right out of the jar here. I'm just going to scoop some out. Put it like that. Okay. Because I don't need very much out of it. Now, if you want to make these hills push back even further. Okay. A little bit of zinc white on your brush and then you can come up under here like this and create like a little fog and you could have done this you know at the beginning but I was kind of waiting till all dry to see how I'm creating a little bit of like like fog so that even push this back even further and the same thing uh, like over here if you want to say that um, this was um, way back of this one See how you can, you know, can get a little atmospheric perspective like that just with a tiny bit of zinc or mixing white that's a good trick if you wanted to soften up a, um, a leaf. You could just put a little zinc white over it. And, you know, so you can have something softer. You can have something softer or more in focus depending on what you're doing. See how I can just push that leaf back or bring it forward. So that's what you're, you know, um, 
your zinc white or your mixing white is for and I kind of like usually I would do this before but maybe there's a little area you want to um, you know exaggerate like for instance um, let's just take some titanium now and a little bit of remember yellow oxide that was our color for the background sky remember that okay now suppose I'm just going to give you an example suppose you needed to um, uh, you got too carried away with the roundness on your flower so you need to poke a few holes in them all right you can do that you can take the make the sky color again come on down let's see Ooh, that's too that white. it's pretty yellowy there yeah well not on purpose <laughs> that panicked me sorry don't panic because it's dry I, so I can wipe it off right Ugh. but just suppose i wanted to bring this the sky down more you know what i mean let's just say i wanted to just erase all that and bring uh. the sky down more so Suzanne's concerned about your floating uh, flower there on the right. Where this one? Yeah, because oh, we haven't put the we have a branch that goes there. <laughs> yeah, well, she just wanted a kind of friendly reminder there. Yeah, it's got a branch that goes there. But what I'm saying is that you can come back with your sky color, all right, and even a little mixing white. Punch some holes in. And punch some holes in your flowers. So don't, don't please just don't make little blooms, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all I'm saying. I it's think just that's a, directed to uh, you know, th th Andrew and myself. So here, here we go. I'm going to just, just kind of come over here like that and just sort of soften that. See what I did like that? Just sort of soften that back hill back there. So you've got a little bit of that. Now, she's right about the... Um, uh, the oh, the auction. They want to know about the auction. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, somebody wanted to know about the auction, and uh, this was kind of exciting. Let me put our branch back, okay? We have some branches that have to go here now. This is our second coat of, of, of paint here. A branch material. Now we're going to bring a branch over, over here. Let's see, I've got enough water on the brush where this is going to flow easily. Um, holding it straight up and down. Okay, like that. All right, I'm going to make this a little thicker. All right, maybe I could have a a little branch going up this way. Our auction, we've got some of these cool puzzles that, um, um, that you know, some years ago I had a license with a, can Canada and co and, and a Canadian company that sold my puzzles all over the world, and, and Target and Walmart in America, and... Um, uh, we had some beautiful, beautiful puzzles, and I, I had a few that, uh, you know, I collected for myself. John made a point that if we ever um, moved, we, we couldn't move all the puzzles, you know, I mean, there'd be a lot of stuff, all the stuff we're moving, not that we're moving tomorrow, but we thought it might be, we want to test out some new auction software, so we thought it might be fun to show you some of the puzzles we're going to have on auction, and they will be signed by me on the back and dedicated to whoever buys them, Okay. See now, do you see how I'm putting in more branches now that I kind of see where my flowers are? So I can add a few. See that? And I can add a few like branches down here, like here, and make sure I put my stuff here. And then maybe I got a, you know, one here like this. Don't quite want it that thick, but let's just say I wanted a branch right there. I'll put a little bit of light uh, green next to it so that, you know, you can barely see the branch. There you go, something like that. I'm going to add a little bit of light green, almost yellow green, up in here, brighten some of this up. So let me show you what some of the puzzles look like. These were all from my European collection. Very excited about that. When do you think we're going to do the puzzle auction, John? I'm going to shoot for this weekend. All right, so check this out. This is a painting. This, is a, this original painting was 36 by 48. This is one of my puzzles. It's called Hotel Couleurs. It's a thousand pieces. A ginger, you know, ginger cook puzzle. It's got my signature stuff on it. This was published by, like I say, a Canadian puzzle company. It sold these all over the world. This is one that we're uh, doing. This is one of my favorites. This is called, um, do we back out just a hair? Oh, yeah, that's a biggie. Uh, oh, this is uh, called Le Muse. Uh, uh, and Le Muse, this was another thousand piece puzzle, ginger cook puzzle. And what's cool is, is that this was the hotel that Cinnamon and I rented. This was a 26 room hotel that some Americans rented to us. They were, they were writers, and we rented it in the winter right after 9-11 happened. We flew over, no one was, hardly anybody on the airplane. Claude and Lillian lived right up the street here, were very nice to us, and the hotel was haunted. All kinds of stories about this hotel. Great, great puzzle. And anyway, this is um, really a portrait of this town in Labastide. 
France called Le Muse. That was one. Just a couple of how many different ones do I we have, John? I think there's eight. We have eight different puzzles. So those are just a couple that we're doing. And again, this is some new software we just got finished installing. I'm setting up, and we wanted to give it a try with that before we get back to our paintings. Yeah, before we do any more painting auctions, we're going to try with the new software. We thought it might be fun. And we've got another surprise one we're doing, another surprise uh, kind of um, a fun, little fun one that we haven't told you about yet because we don't know if the stuff will be in in time, but also be part of that auction. I think I want a little branch. Are you adding? I'm going to add a little one right here. Oh, he has one in his. I think it needs I think it needs Hey, do you guys right like here. having the original picture in the picture that's so you can see it? Is that helpful or... Yeah, we want to know what you think about the way we're broadcasting because it seems to me we have a pretty good see. And again, I apologize. This is just takes there's a certain amount of time it takes to do a picture like this, and really get it right. Okay, so there's our, there's our two, um, uh, you know, flower things. Two flower things. You know, our two flower. <laughs> there's trees, our two right? flower things. There's our two flower th things, and I'm going to just uh, <laughs> now I'm going to take this little brush. And perhaps uh, do a green leaf right here like that. So you can do a little one like this, too. You don't have to do an angle brush. But oh, Patricia has a great question. Uh, Ginger, where did you find John? Oh, <laughs> you know, he had a sign up, held up a sign on the side of the road, will work for food. You, and I you said, know, I was thinking let's, the same let's, thing. Let's just, let's just hire him doing that, right? Um, where did we do this? I think John was the find of the century. I'm sorry. Everybody uh, wants to win the lottery. I tell you what, I won the lottery when I found John. Oh, you stop. Know. You're making me blush. Yeah, but it's true. I did. I mean, I, and I know it, too. Just John is, like, um, awesome. And, you know, the thing of it is is that it's nice to have a great relationship with someone that you can do stuff with. But when they they share your passion in life, and he, he compliments what we do. I mean, when you think about our business of... Um, our mucky business. Of... Uh, no, I'm not thinking about that, John. I'm thinking no. about our, um, <laughs> thinking about our, <laughs> our, um, you know, our our online business. I mean, John builds the websites. He does all of that, right? I need to bring this flower up a bit, you guys. I'm Which sorry, flower? I got a little Which low. One? I got this one a little low. Oh. So we're going to expand it. Just forgive me a bit, but we're going to expand this flower. It needs to come up. But this is why I love acrylics. This one needs to come up here, like that. Oh, perfect. See? Didn't Ginger, did you know that one of your puzzles is online on J-I-G-I-D-I? -I, -I? I did not know. I didn't even know what that is. I did not know. Well, now they you They had do. three years to sell them, and then they were out of the license. They only had the rights for the puzzles for three years. They didn't get the license. The, when I licensed those puzzles, that was um, three years. And I thought the one of the funniest stories about the puzzles was there was a, eventually this was you know eventually, you know the three years passed and that they weren't they weren't selling them anymore, and um, I had this woman write me from England. She'd found one in a thrift shop, and it was missing some pieces, and she wanted to know if I could send them to her. <laughs> and I don't know why you couldn't. <laughs> uh, you know, and I mean, I just I just thought that was a riot. You know that just, and then. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was a funny thing, because I, I had cleverly put my information, the puzzle company didn't put their information on the box at all, but I had cleverly put the information on like this. Here's a little bit of gray here. You know, how how like clever this. was that? You know, well, well, it was clever, because you never know. I mean, somebody might, it's, a, it's marketing. It is marketing. It's marketing, and you have to do that when you're an artist, and you, and you want people to know it. And I was so thrilled. I mean, puzzles are some of my favorite things. I was so thrilled. To have that and to see the puzzles for sale in Target and Walmart, you know, was a big deal. And then to know that they were in three languages and, you know, not that, you know, the writing in three languages on them and they were being sold around the world, that's a big deal. You know, that was a big deal. At least to me. It was a big deal. It was very thorough. All right, we're going to lighten that up a bit like that. All right, and I'm going to suggest that um, we kind of showed you this picture. You look it up maybe and uh, we'll put... Um, you know, we're going to have my picture on Pinterest, too, if you want to just download the painting, you know. And I think that's the that's what we're going to do with this. I'd say we're pretty close to finished with this. The only thing I might do, and you're going, yeah, but she always says that before she does something else, is I might break this up a bit here with this flower. See what I mean? Make a little, put this where I did the green last. Look at that. See how I broke that one up a little bit? You just so it shattered it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So John, John was in Michigan. Uh, doing computer stuff, and he was introduced by a friend of mine, Mark Kessler. And originally, when I started first doing this online stuff, oh, there's some yellow oxide in this flower too. I forgot. There's some little bit over here like that. 
just a touch. Oh, I got to put that stuff in there too, a little bit up here, touching up there, just a hair. Okay, there, got a few little greeneries. There's our picture. I think that's really cute. If you would like to back out of there for me, please. Yes, ma'am. And uh, mm -hmm. see, we got the here. See, there's our branch with our little flower. And uh, you know, if you see where you need another flower, that's okay. Like for instance, I could just touch up something right here. Said so there was a little flower here. And a uh, little more flower here. A little bit here. A little bit of pink here. I love all the pinks up in this one. I'm going to put that up here. I just look around saying, where else could I add a little one drop of paint here? Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think we, I'd say we've got a pretty consistent um, picture. If you like this kind of stuff, if you, if you haven't done this one on our website, this is one of my, this is azaleas, it's not rhododendrons, but this is available on our website and also downloadable as a single lesson for sale. Also, this one I wanted to show you, um, you know, garden steps. This, these are beautiful, large, really big. And again, you can get these as individual lessons on JuniorCookLive.Gallery. And don't forget, if you want to win Honduras, remember, you've got to have your entries in of the, of the, um, by of the 11th. And in order to find out how to enter, you must read our newsletter for June. And, um, and it will be released on June. June first. It will be in your uh, and so we look in your spam folder if you've signed up for the newsletter and you don't see anything on June. You didn't get a newsletter. Do the contact us. You somehow didn't get it. We we'll want make sure that uh, we've sent one out to everybody. Okay. All uh, right. Any other great questions while we're doing this? Yeah. Ginger, do you have a Facebook group? No, we do not. We'll be using a form on our website instead because a lot of us do not like Facebook. I like Facebook, but some people don't. Some people don't. A lot of don't. our members like Facebook. A lot of it's our people Hard to believe. Don't. Somebody <laughs> actually sent me a weird thing on Facebook yesterday on a private message saying that if I didn't send this out to 20 of my friends, yeah, they'd the start charging me 32 end. cents for, for a private <laughs> message. And I don't want to do a private message anyway, so that certainly can't charge me because you'd, you'd be... But I mean, it was just, you know, these. I hate that stuff where, yeah. you know, where there's these scare tactics. Do this or the chicken little scare tactics. The yep. sky is falling kind of stuff. All right, so don't um, forget, you know, so you want to look at, don't you think that came out kind of pretty? Yes, it did. Christy, I like both of them. Chris K. would like to know, how do you find the old dead guy's paintings? Oh, uh, that's, that's a trade Google. secret, Christy. And we have Google, too. Yeah, we have Google, but it's also a trade secret. That's one of the ways that we just sort of stay ahead of the game, is that uh, that's how we, you know, we don't, um, trade secret. <laughs> uh, I mean, now, I've spent a lot of before. years. I've got, I've got a pretty good art education. Spent a lot of years, you know, studying art and finding artists too. So, um, okay. But that's Since we're not basically the um, total answer. We're signing off, basically, right? Basically, we're signing off. But we have any other questions? We can answer some questions. Well, I the reason like I'm saying a, that is, I'm going to try to stuff your picture in the picture with the picture with the picture. I'm going to see if it's going to crash the system. Okay. So uh, the painting's basically done. As you can see, it should continue. Touching it up and doing all the other stuff she does, but we're going to try to put a webcam in with the other one and see if this will just bring it down to its knees. Is the webcam even on? I don't see a webcam. Do you see a webcam? Well, it's not saying it's there, but I think I might have to save it. No. All right, John's trying that. Okay. So. Well, how can that be? What's I give up, John. How can it be? <laughs> All right, I think there was a little kind of, some little um, flower peeking out from behind here too, wasn't there? Little ones, you know, back here, a little pink one. Is there a blue light on this? Um, I don't know, is there? <laughs> I don't see a blue, blue, I don't see a blue light. I see no blue light. I think it's blue. That looks blue. Well, it looks blue. What are you talking about? There's some parentheses around the light that look blue. I don't yeah, see a blue that's, light. Yes, that's, that's the blue light. <laughs> well, you didn't tell. I'm looking for a dot. If someone says there's a blue light on something, no, you should be looking for a dot. Come on. Come on. I Come mean, on. who knows these things? I do. Well, that's not helpful. All right, let's go to this one. Oh, so it is there. Okay. All right. So you. I'm sorry. It's really easy to keep wanting to touch them up. But you see how I think they came out really cute, and you can see the difference between you know, ah. painting the green first and painting the green last. I don't think it I made all that much difference. Now. Here's the. Um, here's our original, which is very faded out because this is shiny paper. But you, this kind of mm -hmm. gave you the idea of the shape, right? So we kind of right. got the shape. That was very important to me is to get the, is to get the shape right and for sure, and come under here like ooh, that's too dark. 
too light. Come under here like this and get some shape going on this. I saw here. somebody put in your puzzle link. There it is. Okay. I think maybe. Oh, I see how they did it. Got it. Well, I know many of those, lots of the ones that we have are out of print. You can't get them anymore. You know, and then certainly we're out of, you know, um, stock on those. Anyway, those are the last of the puzzles I have. We just, the only ones I'm keeping are set for myself. If anybody wants them, we'll have that. And again, we'll personalize them to you. Somebody wants to get one. All right. All right. So no, there you go. I think these look very much like rhododendrons to me. Well, they're laurels. They're called laurels. Laurels. Good to Which know. Which is part of the family. That's part why apparently he titled it what he did. Okay, well, you know, I've <laughs> never been to Kentucky. You know, I've never been to Kentucky, John. Are you kidding me? No, have you ever been to Kentucky? Yes, ma'am. The Blue Hills of Kentucky. I have not been there. And the bluegrass. I've been to North Carolina, hmm. which kind of looks like that. Yeah, I've but been to North I've, Carolina. I've not been to Kentucky. All right, I've been to guys. Pennsylvania. There's our picture. I, I'm York. happy with this. How long did this take, by the way? Oh, you did this in one hour, 40 minutes, and 13 seconds. Uh, well, I apologize for this <laughs> taking so long, but you can't rush Well, how these. many people are still with us? I mean, that's the real question. I don't know. How many people are still playing with us? Anybody? Um, let's see. 207 people. Well, gosh, you guys. Hey, please do a like for us, you know. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. And uh, don't forget to watch last night's video if you haven't seen it because it is up. Don't forget to catch last night's because we stayed up all night. John stayed up till four in the morning to get this up for you by eight. Yeah, I expect up, everybody in the world to paint this, please. You know, because he stayed up till four, you know, which I think is kind of cool. Again, that one was based off Renoir, and um, th this one I think is just fun. Well, it's good to know as soon as we put that picture in the picture, we're starting to get a bad feed. So we can't do that anymore. All right, we won't be able to do that. Well, it's good to know. Not with our current setup. We have to okay. raise more funds to get newer equipment or something. Okay, well, all right, so there you go. Um, flowers and hills. I really that. think this is a fun picture. I hope you guys did too. And um, we'll love, we'll see you. Oh, uh, for sure. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Cinnamon tells me I'm going to do something live with her on Saturday. If for that's sure, the I don't cook, know. <laughs> for sure, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to be Cinnamon and Angela and me, we think. Okay? But we don't know. Well, we don't know. And if, if it was me, which I think it's going to be this Saturday, Angela thought it was in July, but apparently Cinema's talking to her. Um, it's going to be, um, we'll be on at 3 o'clock then Saturday is the plan. And we're going to do, we're all going to do something. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do, but we're all going to do something similar, but different. All right. Oh, that makes sense. Well, I mean, you know, like um, we're all going to be painting something, right? Right. And it'll have a similar theme. Right. And a similar medium, but we're not going to tell you what that is. Ooh. We're not going to tell you how we're going to do it. So you got to make sure you have subscribed to one of the three yeah. of us, or all three of us. Yeah, you should and, subscribe and I'm, to all I'm, three I'm of us. I'm not watching how they're doing it, okay? So I you won't be that. tainted. So, I, yeah, no, I'm want, I have no idea how they're going to do it. No one's ever seen me do it. So, um, but we, I'm sure we're going. Gonna, you think our time is 3 o'clock Sunday, uh, Saturday? Um, yeah. 3 mm -hmm. p.m. Saturday Central Time for Ginger Cook. So at this point, I feel like I've got to go on, even if no one else does. And, and but and, and and but cinema and I you know anyway she talked to Angela and um, well I'll go ahead and make the her and the idea it. is you guys that you'll go from cinnamons you'll start with cinnamon art chirpa and her you know and then then you'll you'll just follow right along I think we're we're gonna try and keep it to thirty to forty minutes you know okay and then you catch Angela's right away and then you catch mine how oh, cool well. is that and you're going to see three different ways to do something similar. Not the same subject, but the same theme, right? Whatever the same theme is. But you're going to something. see three probably totally different techniques on how to do this. And I think that'll be, and I think that should be really fun. Hope hmm. so. Hope so. Okay. This was an 8x10? This is an 8x10. All right. I don't think we have any other questions. We appreciate everybody hanging in there with us. If you have not given us a thumbs up, please do. If you want to give us a thumbs down, just go away. <laughs> yeah, why are you here? <laughs> why are you here? We don't need it. We don't need it. And Ginger will just keep playing until John takes the brushes away. But Yeah, I um, think I'm about to take the brushes away. Yeah, he'll probably have to take the brushes away to get me to quit playing. But, you know, still, I do like, you know, I do dearly love, you know. Can you just... All right. Can I'm you just put, leave it there? And I'm, be leaving done? It alone. Okay. I'm leaving it alone. I'm leaving it alone. We're going to say good night. Good night, Sammy. Good night, and, Sammy. And we'll tell you more about Sammy's interesting hat because we've got stuff coming up about Sammy too as the weeks progress.
Well, if he tells us everything. And don't forget, we're thinking about changing times, and you guys were going to tell us what you thought of it. Oh, they loved it. I'm sorry. What up on 7? You, you, you kept blabbing. Everybody loved it. Okay. We're going to 7 next week. 7 next week. See you next week. See you guys. Maybe mm. Saturday. Maybe Saturday. Maybe. Hey. The picture's still there. Let's turn the picture off. You're still there. I'm, I don't see me. No, you don't, but you're gone. Okay, baby. Uh, night, everybody. Night. Bye.